Thank you for joining me for this webinar, How to Promote Your Software with Videos. I'm Bob Cusick, founder of Clickware. Promoting your software via video has pros and cons. So first the pros. A picture is worth a thousand words. And it's often much easier to show people where to click than trying to explain it. It allows people to get a more dynamic view of a particular feature or, or set of features. Once they see it, they'll believe it. So if your software does something truly amazing, demonstrating that to people builds tons of credibility. On top of all of that, creating videos and screencasts is fast, easy, and very inexpensive. Now some of the cons. While it is easy to do, it does take a certain time commitment. And probably the biggest con is, when your software changes significantly, you have to decide whether you want to go back and redo all the videos for the new version or not. But beyond that, there's really no other cons. Now let's talk about some tools of the trade. If you're on the Windows platform, really the big software package here that everybody uses is called Camtasia Studio from TechSmith. And you can get that at techsmith.com, T-E-C-H-S-M-I-T-H.com. It costs about $299, or if you have a previous version, it's about $149 to upgrade. If you're on the Mac OS, there's this great product called I Show You at shinywhitebox.com, and it's only $29.95, and I have a new $59.95 Pro version that'll let you do HD presentations as well. All right, so once you've produced your screencasts, it's time to get them out there. YouTube is the major player. About 80% of all videos watched in the United States are on YouTube. Another great site that you want to be aware of is called TubeMogul at TubeMogul.com and this is a free website that will syndicate your video to multiple sites like YouTube and Yahoo and Google Video, Blip TV and many more. And it's free for up to a hundred placements per month. Alright, so you've got your videos and you know where to upload them. Now the next part is the what and the how. Make your titles really descriptive. Google only pays attention to about the first 66 characters, give or take, so you want to make sure that you have a really descriptive title that entices people to watch your video. Make your description sizzle. It's the copy in those first two lines underneath your title that will often make a person click or pass on by. Next, your tags are also important. It tells all the indexing engines what the main content of your video is about. So if somebody's searching for something, they're more likely to find your particular video rather than somebody else's. And it's important to think like a user would. So while you may know all the buzzwords or acronyms, think about it like your mom was trying to find it. What kind of words and descriptions would she use to do the search? Those are the kinds of things that you want to put in your tags. All right, so you've got your videos, you've uploaded them, you've titled and tagged them well, now it's time to promote it. One of the best ways to do that is to use your social media. Put it on your Facebook page. And if you're not Twittering on Twitter.com, go ahead and do that too, because it's an easy, inexpensive way to get the word out. Also, put it on your blog. You can get a free blog at blogspot.com. And finally, of course, post it on your own website, because the video can be put into context and you can also upload the full resolution version so it'll be nice and clear when people watch it. And Clickware can help you as well. We can help you with your video marketing, your screencast creation, and your video distribution. To contact us, send us an email to sales at clickware.com or on the web at www.clickware.com. I hope you enjoyed this webinar. For Clickware, I'm Bob Cusick.